Hey everyone, we're back here at the uh, conference, at the uh, Gateway to Trade conference here in El Paso. Um, we're just ending all the sessions now. We had three really good sessions today. Um, one of them, uh, we'll have a speaker here with us. Nelson Belido, so uh, tell us where you're from and uh, where you're coming from and who do you represent and all that. Yeah, so the Border Commerce and Security Council, I'm the chairman of the organization. We're a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. that does works with US, Mexico, and Canada on issues regarding international trade, travel, and security, mm -hmm. right? So we work with people in Washington, DC. We work people with Mexico City. We work with customs. We work with Border Patrol on both sides of the border, not only to look at the security issues surrounding US and Mexico, Mexico, but also on the trade issues and when, when it comes to technologies, right. different things, best practices put in place to ensure that we're keeping our country safe, mm -hmm. uh, keeping the bad things out and ultimately speeding up uh, a speed to market that ultimately really lowers the cost of your of, of what you buy every day at the grocery store or at the at the regular store. Right. And so let's talk um, about this a little bit more also like uh, what about like the disruptions that we've seen on the rail systems? Yeah. I mean, they've had to shut down some ports at one point, you know, because uh, of uh, unwanted uh, guests on un the un train. Travelers, unwanted <laughs> yeah, unwanted travelers. Unwanted travelers and uh, yeah. so um, how or what is it that your group or even the industry is doing sure. to combat or help with that? Well, you know, a lot of that has to do with how Mexico is also helping mm -hmm. with, with this whole problem because the people are not getting on in the United States. They're getting on in Mexico, <laughs> right? So you're looking at what they, what they call secure trade corridors. How is Sedena getting involved? How is the Guardia Nacional getting involved? You know, and also working with, in this case, the rail companies to mm -hmm. ensure that, you know, that there's a consistent moving of these trucks and make it uh, of the of the rail so it's much harder to get on now when they do get on there's currently what's happening is there is inspection systems there are security systems x-ray machines machine learning mm -hmm. videos that normally pick these people out when that happens train has to stop they got to get the people off it slows down trade right. ultimately you're paying more for your mcdonald's burger right. or your product at walmart because if it slows down speed to market costs go up so it certainly needs to be a, a bilateral co communication and cooperation to ensure that we don't have those issues in the future. It's going to happen if people get crazy, they want to get on a train. I don't know why they would. Some of them get killed. Yeah, Unfortunately, very it's very dangerous. But, you know, people are desperate. They think it's a free ride to America. There's no free ride to America. <laughs> and we got to understand that when they get here, they're going to be held by the authorities and they're going to pay the consequences. No, yeah, of course. Yeah. And then, so that's what we see here. And then we see shifts of um, CBP officers helping Border Patrol, you know, having to patrol this and making sure that, right. you know, they'll shut down a port or whatever. And so, so exactly. So um, anything else that y'all might have talked about that, uh, that uh, like, like on AI or, sure, you know, sure. like we that. Did. So we did talk about technology of the future. Well, mm -hmm. What does that look like? What are things in the future to ultimately speed up the crossings and, and, and to really pick out when there's anomalies on these trains mm -hmm. that perhaps people, unwanted travelers <laughs> that maybe want to hop on board or unwanted things right. that may want to want on board, right? So the fentanyl, right. the marijuana, cocaine, other types of drugs that may want to hitch a ride or want to, somebody may put a package on a train. <laughs> that, so there's, 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 there's more and more technology we put in place to ensure that those things are discovered so that doesn't happen and ultimately continues that train, continues to flow. And this is more at like, I guess, at the federal or um, and, uh, enforcement level and not necessarily the, the broker or the freight forwarder. They, they really don't have control over that anyway, right? I mean, they, 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 they don't, but they, but they do benefit because if, if I can get my, cust my customer's products through there faster mm -hmm. because of the cooperation with the government, ultimately I look good. So if there is a symbiotic relationship right. between government and the customs broker and really also the, the ultimate producer and manufacturer. These people need to get all right. on the same page to ensure there's a secure and, so, and, and steady supply chain that, that, that's secure to ultimately benefit everybody. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and ultimately the consumer, of course. So, yeah. Ultimately, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. You keep it costs low. Everybody's happy. You know, there's less incidents. Yeah. Okay, great. So what's the future for rail? I mean, looking good? I think it's looking good. It's expanding. They're going to have more and more uh, uh, traffic going through there mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, there's ex a lot of expansion happening. And there's a lot of emphasis on that because there's a lot of also uh, ways to, to bring a lot of product over the border very quickly. Right. And it's very much more efficient. Right. 
You know, it's much more efficient. There's not, you know, hundreds or thousands of trucks idling on the border, polluting right. some of the areas that already are, are quasi polluted. It's it's much more efficient. There's more green green happening, and it really ultimately it's just everybody benefits. Of course, yeah. Well, thank you, Nelson. Anything ben, else? Uh, any other closing words? Thank you so Listen, much. I appreciate you having. I'm glad you guys are here. It's yes, important sir. that this kind of kind of stuff gets out to the public, right. so people understand. The more people understand what's happening out here, the more people understand what things the government's doing, what trade is doing, what mm -hmm. the manufacturer is doing, the better ultimately their quality of life all over the border will be. Exactly. I totally agree. That's why we do the program. <laughs> so awesome. Thank you so yes, much. Sir, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, you, everyone. Thank you.